negotiated. We had a deal. Irrelevant. You will be assimilated. I knew it. Why does this not surprise me? to engineering with the isodesium. If Lieutenant Torres is correct, Voyager should have power restored within a day or two. The hazard team has proven itself to be a valuable asset. You are all off duty until further notice. Mr. Monroe, I must commend you and your team on the rescue of Lieutenant Foster. He is in sickbay and is likely to recover. You all have some holodeck time. I suggest you use it. Tuvok. I help you. Brian. Sorry, I'm kind of busy here. Save Foster. Doc says he hey, should Alex. recover. Okay. Meet me in the mess hall after I you're done with the holiday. I haven't seen the action okay? myself, but sure. I guess it's always next time. Hey. Sorry, sir. I'm kind of busy. Rick. So I hear you did okay even without me. You got lucky. I guess. Personal photon torpedo launcher. Here, check it out. Initiating program, Quonos.
Deck 2, Mess Hall. Ensign Alexander Munro, access granted. Pretty much out of the woods now. I guess. Tuvok sounded pretty pleased. I guess he's warmed up to you some. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, he just has to get to know you better. You know, a couple of times there, Commander, I really Ensign, thought you might not make it. I can get you. Thanks, I'm glad Alex. you did. I'm fine. Thanks. No, no, this is great. Me too. What is it? Pie. Mmm. Uh, what kind of pie? Oh, just pie. What kind of pie? Lorinax grew up roach pie. Have a nice meal. Ugh. A little more adventurous than you intended, Tom? Little. So, uh, I was wondering... So, how's the Tarkalian wine? I was told 2245 was an excellent year. Oh, uh, yes, it's good. Thanks. Well, uh, I have to go take a shower. Oh, see you later, Alex. All right, see ya. It's such a good idea to get complacent just yet, Alex. Excuse me. Hey, sorry, I'm kind of busy. Liz. Can't talk right now, sorry. You've become quite the hero. It must have been fascinating. The Ethereans, those strange scavengers, and, and those pesky Borg. If you ask me, you're in line for a promotion. Tom. Hey, Monroe. Nice work on the Borg ship. We all owe you one. Commander. Hey, Good work what's in. that? Your 
team Why really pulled through. See Out there, in the debris. See it? Hey, yeah. I see something moving way out there. No, that's debris. No, it's getting closer. Look! You're right. What do you think it is? I don't know. It looks like some kind of ship. doesn't look friendly. The harvesters. All senior personnel report to the conference room. Monroe, you better come too. Does anyone have any idea what this thing is? I believe I do, Captain. The most logical presumption would be that the Forge has sent a Harvester to disassemble Voyager. I was afraid that's what you were going to say. Combining the records Seven retrieved from the Borg ship with my own sensor scans, I would concur with Seven's appraisal. Wait a second. Didn't one of those ships tear up a Borg cube? Yes. The Harvesters appeared to attach themselves to the stranded ships and use massive claws to literally tear the ships apart. The Harvester aliens, meanwhile, invade the ship and plunder equipment and crew. The effect is utterly devastating. Great! Thanks for the pep talk. Balana, how soon will we get the warp drive and defense systems back online? Not soon enough, Captain. The Isodecium is helping, but it's still going to take several more hours. I'm open to ideas. Anyone? I thought I saw something in the Ethereum's records about some sort of gunship that's stranded here, too. Yes, the technology is consistent with that of Species 1567. They were engaged in a long-range war in which they sent out giant automated gunships called Dreadnoughts to destroy enemy outposts. They possessed impressive firepower. Sounds like a giant cannon on autopilot. Essentially, yes. If we can board it, aim it at the Harvester. We can blow the Harvester away before it reached Voyager. Presuming we could operate it. However, my scans indicate that the ship does still have power. Life signs. None detected. I can't see any better option. Tuvok. You and Monroe put together a plan for the hazard team. But fast, we don't have much time. Bolana, do what you can to get our defenses up faster. I'll do my best, Captain. Dismissed. The Dreadnought appears to be essentially a giant automated weapon of mass destruction. There are only a few identifiable areas of the ship. This front area seems to be the control section. There is a barrel section 700 meters long. 700 meters? The rear sections seem to contain the ammunition, power, and propulsion systems. Our objective will be to reach the control section and fire the weapon at the harvester ship. How do we know this thing still works? We do not. We have detected an active power source and the vessel does not seem to be significantly damaged. In fact, we believe the weapon has never been fired. However, as our sensors can barely penetrate the ship's hull, it is difficult to ascertain the weapon's condition. How long do we have before the harvesters get here? Approximately three hours and 47 minutes. Not much time. We might have caught a break on this one, though. As you can see, we've found a tear in the hull. Whatever did that could... We should be able to transport directly into the ship through this breach, saving us the time of having to shuttle over. From here, it's only a short stroll to the control center here. Myself, Chang, Telsia, Chell, and Satlos will beam in and escort Tuvok to the control room. Sounds like pretty heavy escort for a derelict ship. We're not going to take any chances with this one. If all goes well, once we get Tuvok to the control room, he'll fire the weapon at the harvester, and there will still be a Voyager to come back to. Any questions? Good. Gear up and report to the transporter room. Dismissed.
about these harvesters? Not much. We know they can tear a ship to pieces, and even the board are scared of them. Totally resistant to assimilation. Well, better that we get a move on and not find out. Move it. I sure hope Tuvok is right about this gunship being operational. I don't think I want to come face to face with After this, we should be free and clear. Tuvok, may I help you? Received and lost in, sir. Energize. Gravity's a little light here. Should have brought grav boots. Power to this area must be partially out. What are those? Looks like fighters. Fighters? I thought this ship didn't have a crew. Maybe they're automated. We do not have time for idle speculation. We should proceed. So 
look bigger before we killed it. Let us hope, Mr. Chell, that you do not mistake one of us for a harvester. Mr. Chell, if you would. here.
deductive reasoning, Anson. Good work. Definitely a medical lab. Doesn't look like they even got a chance to use it. <laughs>